Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, I tried to feed my six-eyed sand spider and it was an amazing attack. But um, as you can see, she's decided to burrow herself in the sand. So I've taken the cricket out. I don't really want to disturb her too much. But like you always say, you can't make a meat if they don't want to. And she's in this beautiful acrylic enclosure. Now unfortunately, I can't buy any more of these enclosures because the person who made this one doesn't make them anymore so yeah a little bit of a shame but um, while we're here guys let's take a look at the enclosure so guys there is the acrylic enclosure with a nice lockable lid and um, sand spiders can't climb smooth surfaces so there's no way she can actually get out but uh, yeah fantastic enclosure and I have another one of these which is a bit bigger for my Antrodoctinus classic order. But yeah. And it's uh, got plenty of room for the sand spider to walk around and do her own thing. I can't remember how much I paid for it now. I think it was I think about 15, 20 pounds. It weren't uh, loads. So guys, there is my other acrylic enclosure with my Antrodoctinus classic order, the Arabian fat tail scorpion and you can see got ventilation holes on either side and uh, same again a nice lockable enclosure with ventilation at the top as well so yeah beautiful enclosure so while we're here guys let's take a look at my scorpion so guys when you're messing with a venom level 5 scorpion you don't really want to put your hands inside so I'm going to Use my tongs to remove the hide and make sure you don't drop it on the scorpion. So there she is guys, a little bit of a closer look and I'm not going to give her a feed because it looks like she's ready to burst. Uh, personally I think she's going to molt but I've been saying that for the last three or four months and she hasn't actually molted yet. But um, yeah, beautiful scorpion, I paid £90 for her and that was with shipping as well. When I order my scorpions from Germany, they take around about um, four days, so not too long. So guys, hopefully in the future, I can uh, find a male, and I'd like to breed her. And when I keep mentioning about the plates spreading on her back, the plates that I'm talking about are just these little black lines here. There are the plates on her back, and when they spread out like she is now, that means that uh, a malt is imminent. Or if you've mated her with a male and she looks like this, then there's a possibility that she could be gravid. So yeah, hopefully I can uh, find a male in the future. And uh, when she does malt, hopefully I can catch it on camera. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And thanks for watching, everyone.